Hello and welcome my smoked beef cakes. How you doing today? I feel like it's been forever since I made a video for you guys. All of the past like weeks videos have all been pre-made and I felt like I just did a bad job. I was actually planning on making more videos for you guys while I was on vacation and then my laptop was being really stupid and didn't want to work in my favor so yeah, here's where we're at, guys. Playing some Bloods 2D Battles for you guys. We're playing in the Moab Pit right now. And uh, we got Lance. Lance over here. Lance is carrying on through life with uh, some major issues over here. He likes the Sun God for some reason. <laughs> what a weirdo. Well, uh, what we're to do is actually... Ooh, Mountain Pass. I'm just going to play with random towers today. Well, not really random random, but like whatever's good for the map. So definitely out of practice right now, man. I, I know it feels like, you know, it's only been a week or so, but I, I don't know, it just feels, it's, it feels longer than that, man. So we're going to go for my two favorite towers in the game, probably, the Tag Shooter and the Wizard. And then I still want something that I can do for other crap, so let's just get our engineer and go for the random, oop, the boom boom, baby. Yeah, son. All right, so the boom boom is, is, is a wonderful tower to have around. All right, so he's going banana farms today. All right, I mean, fair. It's fair. It's a fair thing to go for, I suppose. This is one of those maps where it, get, it gets real wild. Real wild, real fast, though. Uh, so he might actually struggle out just a little bit in the early part of the game, unless he goes dart monkeys, which some people do. But I feel like dart monkeys definitely have that major issue around 12 and 13 where they just really can't handle the whites and then the zebras and then the rainbows and still be able to get some... Ba oh! Ho -ho! I hope he does not do an engineer ninja strike. That would be quite terrible. I would not be excited for that. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I guess I'll talk about my vacation a little bit. If you guys don't know, I went to Texas. So my girlfriend's parents live in Texas, and uh, uh, she misses her parents. She doesn't get to see them all that often, you know. It's, a, it's a, about a two-hour flight, about a 13-hour drive. So... Um, we gotta get somebody to watch Luna. My parents usually end up watch Luna, watching Luna when we end up going there. But, uh, for the past few years, we've been going, um, to Texas for Christmas. And I totally don't mind. You know, obviously, I want to make sure that she's getting the, her family time in and everything like that. But literally, it's just, uh, it's kind of a weird vacation for me. Because when I usually go on vacation, it's more of like a, I actually go to, like, a theme park or, like, somewhere to, like, the beach or something like that. But literally, she's going to somebody else's house and just chilling, doing, like, nothing. Which, hey... It's, I'm fine with that. I don't mind just chilling here and there. Um, so here we go. I'm going to actually go for a random pink in the middle of all this just to see if I can sneak this thing through really quick. But it looks like he's got two engineers now, and that should be able to defend. He ended up getting two engineers and two banana farms for round five right here. So well played, my friend. Well played indeed. So uh, what we did there is uh, we basically just kind of celebrated Christmas. Um, we ate lots and lots of delicious food. We traded the presents around a little bit. Uh, we can't. We went kind of big this year with the, the present trading, so I think that was that was pretty fun. We actually tried to get random. Uh, basically, the way we do it, we use this, this app called Giftster, which makes it easier to like, you know, trade presents without accidentally getting uh, too many presents of uh, uh, getting the same present for the for the same person or something like that on accident. You know, if you just, everybody, you know, like you don't have to actually talk to anybody about, oh, did you get this for this person yet, or anything like that. It's already on the app there, so it actually works out pretty wonderfully. But, we just traded presents a little bit, we ate tons of delicious food. Oh my god, Amanda's mom is crazy with the food, alright? Seriously, it's the most insane thing ever, and Amanda doesn't like me talking about this, but I'm gonna talk about it anyways, even though she's in the other room probably listening to me right now. But Amanda's mom makes delicious, delicious food, uh, and she makes a lot of it. I mean, they're like, they're like ma making like steak the first day and then turkey the next day and then like chicken meatballs and uh, eating like when they make leftovers, like, oh, we're just going to make leftovers and we're just going to make the leftovers into steak quesadillas, Chris. I'm like, oh my God, this is freaking insane over here. So he's going for a huge rush against us right here. We're going to pop down a quick lightning bolt wizard, which is something I was not expecting to do, but I feel like he's going to waste a lot of his money right here because he doesn't have, to have, have any lead popping power yet. We're going to go for a regen lead kind of late here on round 10 because we're going to go for a huge white rush, I think. On round 11. Ooh, he's got a monkey ass at it. All right, let's get a couple pink balloons flying in here. Let's get rid of that blue real quick. All right, there we go. We get rid of that. We're going to go for a regen zebra. We may go for another rush here. We're going to be very, very careful, though. This is the pivotal point, guys. We're going for a huge white rush underneath this thing. Does he have enough grouped popping power? He's going to monkey ass again, and he's going to damage boost right here. All right, we still got our three, uh, three corrosive blues and this. I hope that I can maneuver myself around that, guys. He's going to go for the balloon trap, though. Very, very interesting. And he gets the dartling gun. 
Oh, snap! Now that is a good loadout right there, guys. That is a very sexy loadout here. So he's going to go for another rush against me. Looks like I'm going to just corrosive blue this thing so I can end up not losing any lives. But there's a well-played rush on it on his part right there. And of course, he's still going for some more bloons against us. He wants to make us lose, man. But two lightning wizards is nothing to mess around with. Now, it's a little weird at this point because you're like, hey, I really want to rush this guy with something that can kill him. But if I rush him with anything serious... You know, he's going to get money out of it with his bloom trap, and it's going to cost me a billion dollars. It's just like, it's really just not worth it to rush an engineer player until Moab territory. And this is actually quite terrible, because I don't have a good Moab defense at all. I think he's going to struggle against Moabs as well, but I don't have good defense at all. So what I'm doing is I'm sending out just a few balloons here and there. Oh, wow, he's got... Oh, man, really now? He's got snipers up in the front there? Holy crap. All right, so we're going to pull out uh, some, some weirdo crap here, guys. We're going to go for a triple engineer strat up in the front here. We're going to go boom, boom, and boom. We're going to get a taxer down yonder. And we're going to see if maybe I have to get a blade maelstrom or something up. I, I don't know if I'm going to have to here. But he's trying to maybe use my battle energy or something right now. I don't want to do that at all. Uh, let's hope we can do a Moab and maybe some balloons underneath this thing to cause some major issues to this guy. I'm going for big, beefy balloons underneath this thing, though. I don't care what kind of money it takes me, man. He's probably going to boost Moab against me, and I'm probably going to lose, but i got to try for it anyways, man. Let's go for some zebras underneath this thing. We're going to boost some zebras underneath this thing. So here we go. We're going to boost some zebras. i got a damage boost on my side. We're going to use the corrosive blue right here. Oh, don't even need it, man. The damage boost is going to go right through there. The Moab, though, is going to sneak right through his defense. And Lance is not carrying on through this game right here. We're going to take him down, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. First game back after a freaking week and not playing. And we win. We do. We finally make it, guys. I feel like he, he wanted a Moab boost there, but he just didn't. I, be, I believe that if he did Moab boost properly, he probably would have killed me. Or at least, I don't really know what boost he had. I feel like mo mostly everybody these days has the Moab boost instead of the balloon boost. And I would honestly rather the Moab boost. But I just don't have the experience yet to buy that thing. So we're kind of stuck in a little divot here right now. You know, we're stuck in a pitfall, but that's okay. All right, so what tower is we going to pick today? Uh, let's go for... I don't know, the boomerang's sometimes good on this map, sometimes bad. I'll go for the heli pallet. We haven't used him in a while. We'll go heli pallet. We'll go mortar. Electric group pop power here. And then uh, let's go for the ninja for some late game action. Because this is one of those games where you definitely could go late game. Honestly, I could have went with the glue gun earlier. I haven't used him in a while. But, um... I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to win some games here. I want, I want to win some medallions. So I ended up getting the wizard. Wonderful. <laughs> I always love... The ninja wizard combo. Uh, you know, it used to be such a noobalicious strategy. Uh, back in the day, man, it was uh, it was pretty bad, actually. And nowadays, it's actually pretty freaking good, especially with all the damage boosts and random boosts you can get. Like, ninjas with a damage boost annihilate things. Late game ninjas, delicious, bro. Delicious. Uh, and then wizards, oh, they're just nice all around to have, you know? They got the lightning for, like, random balloon popping power. They're a little weaker against the regen balloons than you might want them to be. That's really, like, their only weakness. Crazy amounts of group balloons, or sometimes pretty large, pretty sizable regen rushes. But that's where, like, the damage boost and the glue really come into play and just work wonderfully. Plus, having every type of balloon popping power is, is just it's good to have around. You know? So anyways, we're trying to overwhelm with uh, red balloons right now. We are sort of... We're trying to we're trying to keep the balloons on the screen for a pretty long time. Um, he's got banana farms, so the longer we keep the balloons on the screen, the more money we're going to make in the long run here, guys. Shows a bunch of blues uh, right away as soon as we can. Blue, 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 blue. Come on, come on, come on. 297. Holy crap, 298. Whoa, man. Now that's how you get the income flowing here. We're already up to 315 at this point in the game. He's going to get a little greedy with his banana farm. He might go for a catapult here. What's he going to do, man? That looks like a catapult positioning. Very, very weird. He does go for the catapult positioning. We're going to go for two quick pink balloon rushes just to sneak more balloons through because he's already down to 68, 66, and we're still draining some of these guys through there. He's still chase a racing Oh, my God. He's below. Got to be below 60. Come on. Where's that? There it is. Below 60, 54 lives already. Nice. That's how you cause some issues for some players here. Now, what you might also notice is that my defense is <laughs> terrible. Oh, terrible. Yeah, it's it's not good right now. But my income is actually pretty freaking solid here. So I believe what I'm going to do is if you rush with green balloons, I'm going to go for a quick low-level mortar, maybe just a 0-1 or a 1-1 one, one or something like that. And then uh, here we go. He's going to rush. He's going to go for a 1-1 one, one mortar. Um, I'll leave my helipod on the other side now. 
so we can play sort of the cleanup game here. Uh, I might go for the quad darts pretty soon, but it's looking like we're, we're defending good enough for me. Ooh, 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 baby, yeah! That's how you do it. We got some greens. We're actually rushing with a couple blacks underneath these things, so we can't even afford to send out constant greens all the time. So as long as you're maximizing your income, don't feel bad about sending out a couple extra blacks here and there to cause some more issues, because again, when he's down to 54 lives, he really doesn't want to lose any more. We're going to make him, uh, you know, spend a lot more money trying to defend here instead of eating banana farms, and maybe even kill him early on in the game. Who knows, maybe a weirdo yellow rush will take him down or something. Because the catapult is good, but it's not unstoppable, guys. Don't overestimate the catapult. Here we go, we're going big. We're going for them yellows. Let's see what he does here. Again, down to 32. He's going to pop a wizard in with a 1-1 one, one wizard. That's probably going to be enough here, but I don't know. Again, 32 lives is pretty low. He doesn't want to use any battle energies or anything. We might force it here. 23! Come on, kill him! And he gets the lightning wizard! Oh my god! I just feel like this game is crazy right now. I really just want to kill him early, you know? I'd rather have the medallions, because the, you know, the, the, more, the longer you let those farms farm, the worse it is for yourself. So we're going to go for a little bit more income here. I'm talking like 700. I've actually got all the basics covered for me. Um, I've got the lead popping power. I've got some blue popping power. But it's really just not enough is the main issue for me. So what I'm thinking here is we're going to go for a birdie stuff. Um, I might not go for the signal flare yet. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a quick wizard over here. Just a low level because we're going to get ready for a decent sized zebra rush actually. Decent sized zebra rush. This is going to cause a battle energy or glue or something, man. It's got it. And there we go. Oh, a spike storm. So I think he's only got two. Uh oh. He's going to counter me. I'm going to corrosively glue that crap right there. We're going to get quad darts. We uh, we end up uh, doing the damage there, but we got to get ready for a, uh, a possible razor rotors if we need it. Um, he spike stormed already, so let's do it again. Let's go for a, a, a combo. Oops. Oops. Boom, 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 boom. Rain rainbow uh, zebra combo. And we're going to cause a boost right there. All right, we might take him down here, though. Come on, take him down! The empowered boost was not enough! And the greed takes that player right on down into the ground. We bury him, put him with the skeletons over there. And he's got a good record and everything, man. And we still are amazing today, man. I'm feeling pumped. Pump it up! All right, let's finish it off the loss here, guys. Let's finish... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I feel like uh, my, luck, my luck has to run out at some point, doesn't it? It's got to it's gotta run out at some point. Um, let's see, let's see, what do we got? Um, Super Monkey Lane. Yeah, it's not a bad map. I like boomerangs on this map. Depends on the side, though. No, it doesn't. It's the same thing. I'm lying. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, you found me out, man. I'm a freaking liar here. And I got to finish my stuff. Let's just go that plus Ren. Oh, it, did, it doesn't let me pick that plus randoms. Okay, we still get Helipollet and Mortar, though, but Cannon. Interestingly enough, I don't want the Cobra. I feel like Cobra players suck. Cobra players are noobs. And uh, it's mostly because I hate playing against them. They're not actually bad. They're just... I just hate them. So, I call them noobs. You guys know you guys know the, the rules there, right? So, we're going for a Helipollet start into the exact same thing. Just move, pop a Mortar in whenever, man. That's all you need to do. Picks the blacks, gets quad, quad darts. Uh, greens and yellows, get a mortar. Boom. So we get to go for a dartling gun start, which is fine. It's fine. All right. I'm getting a little sad. A little saddened by that, but okay. Whatever, whatever floats your boat, dude. So anyways, uh, yeah, for the vacation, we, uh, the very first day we got there, oh my god, baby, 60 degrees Fahrenheit, delicious. So we live in, you know, obviously, if you guys don't know, me and Amanda, we live in Chicago, or we live near Chicago. So it gets pretty chilly, pretty, pretty quick over here, you know, it's, uh, it's actually, we've had a pretty warm December, though. But uh, overall, it gets, it gets pretty chilly. So anyways, one thing we're noticing here is we're both going balloon income. So I'm going to have to go for either a 1-1 one -one wizard here or just pop in that mortar already. And I think, honestly, the best play for me is just to go for that mortar already. You know? Like, uh, deal with the blues. I mean, he's probably not going to rush with pinks very much. So here we go. The helipad's going to do the cleanup for me. The mortar's going to get rid of the group balloons. And we're, we're pretty much covered. If, if you're ever thinking about towers in a way, what you need is you need to combine two towers together that do this well. You have one grouped popping power tower and one either cleanup tower or pink and black popping power tower. If you do, if you have those two things right there, you've got everything covered. You don't need to worry about it the entire time. You just income, 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 baby. Anyways, we need the point where the uh, the mortar and the helipad are barely covering that uh, that co that cover right there. So we're just going to pop in an extra rapid reload because that's just going to exponentially grow the popping power on that mortar right there, man. Holy crap. It's, it's a lot more. All right, let's put it that way. Now, mortars on this map aren't really that good because 
if you look at where they actually hit, it's a, t it's a fairly tiny area, actually. I know it looks like a nice little circle right there. They don't go around it or anything, you know? It's just, it is what it is. Alright, so he's actually struggling a little bit against the group balloons at this point. Two zero one dartling guns are, like, kind of enough, kind of not enough. We're both at the, uh, at that point. So, I gotta decide what I wanna do here. Anyways, oh, we make him st Oh, yeah, dude, if we're causing him more issues than it's causing us, heck yeah, dude, I'll keep sending those things out. So, we ended up, I ended up getting, they know, they know me, man. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I like board games. Um, I like strategy, you know? So, there's a lot of, there's a lot of strategy. Ooh, nice, plead, plead, rush right here. Um, crap. All right, we're gluing it. We got, the, we got the quad darts here. We're gonna have to go for a yellow rush right away in round eight, though. I think. Let's watch out, man. This is a little scary here. Um, he's gonna try and rush me the yellows, I think, too. We're gonna try and uh, tank him or whatever, because we're gonna go for a counter yellow rush, which should hopefully be worse for him than it is for us. Oh, baby, come on, get them yellows a flowing here. What does he got? What does he got? Oh, he's gonna glue it. All right, the glue is gone already, though, and he's gonna damage boost too. Yeah, that's how you do it, man. Cause a glue, cause a damage, cause crap all the amounts of stuff for him. So I like board games, so we got they, they ended up getting me some science board games, which was really fun. Here we go, we gotta get him uh, lead pop power here. He doesn't have any right now. Uh, I'm gonna get the Bernie stuff on mine. We got it covered, though. We got it covered. I am happy with what I'm seeing here. Alright. Alright, kind of. Kind of. There we go. Alright, we get that covered. We're gonna... Oh god, oh god, oh god. We're gonna boost some zebras up in here. Get those zebras up flowing. What's he gonna do? Damage boosted or what? He's gonna monkey ass in it. All right, all right, that's cool. That's cool. That's what you wanna do, dude. Fine, be my guest. He's still going pink balloons against me though. He wants income, man. He wants hardcore income. I think he feels like he's uh, he's got a better defense than he does though. You know that defense isn't that good. He could damage boost through it, sure. I mean, I mean anybody can damage boost through anything though, right? So anyways, we're gonna leave this guy here for a second. We're gonna go for another boosted rush here. Let's get a couple whites going through there so we can get rid of that corrosive blue. And we're going to boost some uh, rainbows combo of uh, just about everything in here. A little bit of everything. He's going to damage boost through it. It's still going to be a little bit of a struggle for him, though. We're getting some lag here. And it looks like he will take them down. Okay, okay. All right, all right. That's cool, that's cool. I think what we're going to do is we're going to end up going for a quick... Uh, you know what? I'm going to pop in one wizard. We're just going to one one for now. And then uh, we're going to go for a pretty beefy rush, I think, here, guys. I don't know. we got to watch out for that la the corrosive glue, though. So we're going to boost through. We're going to send a bunch of oh, regen. Let's just do anything here. Let's just go for some income. Let's just uh, let's go for a bunch of whites in here. Let's see if we can do any damage with white balloons. Yeah, this is going to be trouble for him. A lot of whites. Let's switch to some zebras real quick when he's not ready for it. Get some zebras flowing in here. Oh, he's struggle lugging. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Lost his zebras in the end there. And he's going to damage boost on round 17, too. Is that his last damage boost? That could be it, guys. we got to watch out, though, because I really don't have that good of a Moab defense right now. So he's kind of sad about that. You know, I don't know. What was that? If that was the second one or third one? I think that was his third one. So he does not have any damage boost for this, this Moab that we're going to send it against him right away on round 18. Um, so we're going to go Moab. We're going to go uh, uh, regen leads here. And we're going to have to damage boost through our Moab, absolutely. You know, like, for sure. Here we go. So he's going to do that against us. We're going to damage boost this bad boy. Hopefully that's enough here. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. No problem. Okay, we're going to do some regen leads underneath there. Uh, we're going to do some zebras over here. He's got nothing left, man. He's trying to take them all down. It's going to be a struggle for him, though. And Vintage Mage is going to end up getting destroyed by that ridiculous rush right there, boys. Whoop, 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 we're back! Super John Bombo is back for the new year, baby! Alright, if you guys enjoyed this wonderful, wonderful video, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to hit that little bell button next to the notification button next to all this crap. Press those buttons because you guys want to come back and watch some more Super John Bombo action in 2019. Thanks for watching, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.